M0FXB Hamtech, did you know you can send APRS with your UV K5, K6, all thanks to KD8 Charlie Echo Charlie. And the bin file is here in this section, plus all the instructions. So scroll down, you can see my K6 in the background, but you can use the K5. All the instructions are there to enter your location data, your SSID in ETC. So read that carefully, but scrolling down, there is a GitHub link. Keep going just there. So we're going to click that and we get to this page here. Now scroll down and you'll have a list here and choose the one you'd like to choose. I'm just going to choose the top one, 02P bin and you get the normal bin file that's just gone into my downloads folder at the top there, as you can see. So now we're gonna turn off our UVK5, put it into firmware mode by holding down the PTT and turning on, and plug in the cable, like so, sorry my hands are in the way. The top light is lit white at the moment, so I like to use the IJV software for downloading my programs because you can easily do the backup as well. Look, read and write. So scroll to this link here and just download. And thanks to IJV as well, download the K5 program and that's uh, a good way of uploading firmware. So once you've got that, it looks like this. So at this point, if you want, and it's definitely recommended, that you take a backup of your radio. So when the radio is connected and you select the COM port, so we'll go right click, device manager, like so, and then double click ports, and we're COM22. So in the firmware loader, we go to 22, and it straight away is gonna detect that it knows our radio is in firmware mode. To do the backup, you read configuration, and read calibration, you will not be in firmware mode. So turn it on and off, and then you can do that. And it just saves a couple of files for you, and you can bring them back in if you have a problem, and you've got a backup of your original settings and setup. So anyway, we're gonna write the firmware. So we click write firmware just here, and then we're gonna find that that was uh, just downloaded. Look, CEC 0.2p, and there you are, it's going in now. Let that finish and then turn the radio on in the normal way. There you go. So you're all ready. Now remember, we haven't had to change any hardware. We haven't had to solder any parts. Uh, this is only um, a, a transmit method. I believe there is another section that uh, KD8 has done where you can use Whisper. Uh, if you scroll down, it's a way of sending messages. And in this, I noticed there was, uh, sorry, let's see if I can find it, a modification to the cable. See it there on the right? You'll see there's a little yellow cable where the twin pin goes in. Uh, there's some, uh, a, a digi manager screen there for you. Whisper transfer. Whisper save, where you can actually receive after the modification. There we did see a photograph of the mod. There it is there, uh, where the cable's been modified. So of course the link will be in the description. You know, you're talking about a 15 pound radio here and there's a little resistor that's been added. It says 5K to 20K, where we've normally got them lying around, haven't we? Um, and I'm sure that that cable that has been made would do other work with other programs as well, I bet. Maybe the Quashang dock, who knows. <clears throat> so, we've got our firmware on. Let's turn our radio back on. Let's unplug the cable. You can see it looks like a normal Quashang, but there are extra settings in there now. So I recommend you read through these instructions carefully to learn where you put your settings, but. There are instructions here. Yeah, they are they are clear, but there's because it's APRS, there are a few settings you need to enter. So 
So number one, APRS frequency, so UK is 144800. So, so when you go to the 169th and 170th channel, the channel names automatically change to APRS message. That looks like it's menu number 32. You can see it in small writing. APRS frequency, select the items you want to save, the regions. So we'll, we'll have a close look at the radio now, but definitely read through this a few times because you do have to enter a lot of this. But once it's in, it's in, and you yes, you do enter your GPS, lot, longitude and latitude, your SSID, and look, there's full CW capability. Also, firmware has been written for a waterfall feature as well and some other um, interesting items in, in this uh, KD8CEC page. And then you can enter a message. Enter the TAPRS menu, the frequency you want to transmit on is automatically displayed on the screen. To transmit, so that's the interesting bit, when you're in menu seven, press the menu button twice or press the PTT and hold it for one second. And I have tested it, it does work. After changing the item, you can transmit it by pressing PTT. There's your position, look. And, and then it just goes on. And of course, there's a video from KDHCC as well. And look at this, transmitting Morse code. You can do that as well. And there's the GitHub link again. So let's go over to the radio. And I'll just show you before you move on. This is the modification, the HF hardware modification. Look, look at this on the side here. A C board, a DSP board for UV K5 actually adds GPS plus more. And scrolling down, you've got the whisper we talked about. That's the new board modification that uh, you're seeing a lot of on, on YouTube at the moment. The waterfall is the one I'm going to try next nice waterfall there. So there's some really really good work here. UVK5 HF full band receive. That's the APRS one we just talked about. Another one here USB circuit confirmed version. About UVK5 CEC firmware version. What's that? What colour is it? Is that SSTV? Could be, I'm scrolling back in time now. You can see that this is, you know, a lot of good work. There's a CW paddle there. DVPI version update. What's that? So there's other projects on the go here. I'll be learning this, uh, you know, there's one here, DMR talk group server release DVI so yeah check all this out because I will be let's go over to the radio so we followed the instructions entered our details let's see if we can PTT to my Kenwood D75 just go menu 7 and then press menu twice and look at that yeah so the information we're getting it just says ham tech at the moment we just need to enter the more information we enter into our device the more it's you know the more we're going to see how i just think m0 fxb hamtech welcome to my videos on the uvk 5k6 and the d75 and interestingly did you know you can actually send aprs from the k5 k6 to the d75 without any modification to this apart from adding the firmware from KD8 Charlie Echo Charlie. So watch this, we'll just go to menu, like so. We are at menu seven, which is the TX menu. We've already entered our APRS frequency and other settings. We just press it twice and we've just sent APRS. Now remember, 800 pound radio, these 15 pound. And this radio with the modifications from KD8CC will actually do whisper. Yes, the things like waterfall display, sending CW, SSTV, sending messages. So I'll put a link in to the, you know, to the firmware download. At the moment, this is a transmit only 
item you can receive messages but you have to make it make a modification to a plug and then do it via your pc which is all in the link that i will send you we know that sending is menu number seven so you go menu seven like so and then to transmit you can hold the ptt or double press that's the transmit menu now let's go to menu 32 everything works as normal on this radio 32 so you've got your your channel memories there if you look it actually says 31 so it could be a change on that just looking at the, the information on the PC but go to 31 where it says channel save that is the key one press menu and as you go down you'll see you can start to enter your GPS a message and then it's just go that so there's a place where you can enter that information and there's just my normal memory channels now go back up until you see and it's menu 3 of 65 now you see U info. When you go enter, you can add sorry, add your call. That's a CW message. That's my name that I put in, Hamtech. Your grid. GPS latitude, I just kept it very short. <laughs> 52. Longitude. And then I've, I've selected wide one in mine. APRS2, SSTV look. I've only just touched the surface on this. So the more information you add, the more it's gonna display up on your radio. And of course, if, you, if your radio is making the APRS network, so an external antenna, you're gonna get onto APRS FI with this as well. And the messages and information that you add is all going to be there so thanks for watching my channel the links are in the description for how you can do this i've also made a video loading the loading the firmware but it's the normal way turn the radio off plug in the cable while turning on hold the ptt and then just use any firmware loading program for quashang radios because they all work to load the firmware and you know you, i take my hat off to all developers whether it's exuma ijv um, KDC on this in this case and um, I'm just like playing around with them all we've got this very low cost radio and we can do all the things that we normally have to spend a lot of money to do so thanks for watching my YouTube channel bye for now 73